are you nine? So today I'm going to do two dissections for you. The first one I'm going to do is the lungs and I'm going to show you the structure of um, your lungs. And then secondly, I'm going to show you a heart dissection. Okay, so if we remember, and I'm just going to use my book to show you, if we remember the structure of the lungs here, we're going to look at each of these parts. So I know it's upside down on yours, but don't worry. So coming down um, from the mouth and the nose, we've got the windpipe, better known as the trachea. And that trachea splits into the left and the right to go to each lung, splitting into tinier branches called bronchi, even smaller branches called bronchioles. Then we've got those tiny little air sacs at the end called alveoli. Now, if I show you an alveoli in a little bit more detail, here we go. You can see that it's surrounded just by one layer of cells. And that allows oxygen and carbon dioxide to easily diffuse across. And then surrounding each alveoli in your lungs, you've got blood vessels called capillaries. So that oxygen can diffuse into the blood, be picked up by red blood cells and be carried to where it's needed to go. So I'm going to have a look as much of that as possible. So just bear with me. So I've got my gloves on ready. If you were here, you would smell that it smells absolutely gross um, and we need to get it out of the bag. So here's my dissection tray. Now what I'm going to need to do is just move this so you can see me doing this at the same time. So hopefully you can see that there. There's lots and lots of blood. And now it's going to find next, which is just absolutely great. Can't wait. The smell is absolutely horrific, guys. Right. Hopefully, you can see um, we've got some lungs. And connected to the top of the lungs, we've got here... Um, the trachea, that huge pipe, very, very strong, going up towards the mouth. Oh, if you feel me gipping, it smells really, really bad. So I can actually put my finger down into the trachea and that's what I'm going to do in a minute. So what I've got is a tube and I'm going to pop that tube down inside um, the lungs to show you um, how to inflate. So I do not want to touch the end that I'm going to be putting my mouth in. So here goes. Oof, smell. Right, we might have that in action now. So, I'm going to blow through this pipe and hopefully you can see those lungs inflating. I might have to do a little bit of a close-up to help you. Watch this one closely. You ready? I'm going to push all the air back out. Oof, I don't even want to breathe it. You ready? One more time. Oh, oh, the smell, guys, the smell. So I'm going to take this tube back out. All the way out. So what you can see there is when you breathe in, air's going to go down this track here and it's going to split. And it's going to split into two tubes called the bronchi. One to the right lung and one to the left lung. So let's have a look a little bit closer. I'll just get my scalpel. And we're going to cut into one of these lungs. This is, oh, I don't know if you can hear all the air escaping that I've just popped in it. It's like bubbling. <laughs> 
so funny. George, I hope you're not being sick at this point. Right, you can see inside how um, red we are. That means there's been a lot of oxygenated blood within there. Um, and oxygenated blood is carried by red blood cells. So red blood cells carry this oxygen, um, making it look red. So I'm going to move this up to the camera slightly. You can see there the tiny, tiny little tubes that have broken up from the bronchi. And they're called the bronchioles. Tiny, tiny little tubes. I can just put my finger down one of them. And they go to the ends of the lungs, to those tiny sacs called the alveoli. Now, the alveoli are so tiny, you're not going to be able to see them in this video, okay? But you can see how big the surface area is of the lung, okay? So how much air it can hold. Now, obviously, if somebody's a smoker, what's going to happen to the alveoli is they're going to get damaged, which is going to decrease the surface area. So less oxygen can pass through to the blood, and less carbon dioxide can pass back from the blood, back through the lungs. Now, you may remember from topic B1, but also this topic as well, there are three adaptations to those tiny alveoli that are at the bottom of the lungs. Number one, they've got a huge surface area. Number two, they've got a really good blood supply to carry that oxygen. And number three, they are one cell thick and that allows for a really fast diffusion of oxygen across that cell membrane okay so i'm just going to take this glove off and get prepared to show you the heart